creo que los paneles solares, una ciudad inteligente, eh, conservar la energía y saber aplicarla en beneficio de, los, de nuestros distritos es un tema fundamental para que mi querido Rima pueda salir adelante. Además, eh, me ha interesado mucho cómo el sistema de transporte puede mejorar, cómo, nos puede, cómo no, los vecinos se pueden en transportar. Sin duda, Copenhague nos lleva muchos años de diferencia. Este sistema de, de ciclovías o de bicicletas es trascendental para que nuestra Lima y nuestra Rima en general eh, pueda avanzar. Eh, nosotros, sin duda, vamos a aplicarlo en nuestro distrito y de verdad que reitero las la felicitaciones y, y el agradecimiento por la invitación. A mí en particular lo que más me llamó la atención fue ver cómo la infraestructura pensada para la gente eh, en cuanto a la movilidad, sobre todo las ciclorrutas y los peatones, siendo la más asequible para los recursos de nosotros eh, en países en vías de desarrollo, eh, nos la están enseñando o eh, generalizando en países nórdicos. Son muchas estrategias casi que de urbanismo táctico, no necesitan grandes elaboraciones y esa es como la lección más grande que yo me llevo. É, se eu puder contribuir, talvez, de forma singela para alguma melhoria, seria talvez apresentar é, projetos que já estejam implementados e com dados que nos permitam avaliar da viabilidade ou não de implantação no nosso país. E também, ao meu ver, seria fundamental que existisse um processo, uma continuidade né? depois um, uma, um relacionamento entre os, os países e a organização para identificar aqueles projetos que têm uma interface com a nossa demanda e garantir a possibilidade de implantação dos mesmos. Em Barbados, we have we make provisions for the capturing of rainwater, also the encouraging persons to have solar heating, but I think we need to take it a bit more further, especially, and we can start with the government-owned houses to encourage persons to have, to utilize their rooftops and their balconies as part of the, um, to, to, grow, to grow vegetables and, thing, and to become a bit more um, green in this thing. Because the whole emphasis now is moving away from green. And also the government of Barbados is very interested and their policies is now to to reduce the carbon the, car, the, the carbon emission by 2035 and we can start right now with these small issues in helping to improve the environment so it is very this this um this new workshop is very timely in the housing sector um here in in, in denmark and sweden i've seen there's, there's a number of condominium apartments and, and those kind of development. I believe this could also work well for, 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 for Guyana. This could also work well for the city. This could also work well knowing fully well that the city is running out of space. So we, we need to house the people in a different way. Not everyone could be housed in a, in a, in a yard by themselves. They could be housed collectively and be able to enjoy and share the space uh, uh, like the people do here in Sweden and Denmark. We've had that um, the, the opportunity to see so many different things, the, the rooftop um, uh, gardens, the opportunity to be able to understand how sustainable cities operate and smart cities, what we can get out of it. I think it was a lesson really very well learned for the last couple of days. You know, you, you sometimes do it in a classroom or you listen to a presentation somewhere but when you get the opportunity to come out and actually see how people live and how people are working to change the world, I think um, that's a great opportunity and I want to say it was um, very positive and from the city of Port of Spain, I want to say thank you very much to the IDB for giving us this opportunity. What could be achieved in a city with respect to restoring old building restoring brownfield sites. I think that was the most important aspect of this entire program for me because in San Fernando we have a lot of brownfield sites, a lot of old buildings 
can be refurbished and or even existing old buildings can be retrofitted. Presently our streets in San Fernando are so congested, uh, it may not be to redesign to use bicycle as yet, but to be re redesigned so that we can incorporate pedestrians with the vehicular traffic for now and then later on move on to maybe including bicycles and other aspects of, 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 of that type of life. I think you have to put uh, the goal high of uh, sustainable uh, development, both in the green area with the climate changes and the social needs and economic and I think uh, for the social you have to begin with the children, you have to put them in good schools so uh, everyone can manage and uh, that's open doors for uh, work opportunities and, and development. So you have also to, we have a um, high uh, level of uh, gender thinking. <laughs> So we, we have one man, one woman in politic, in our political list, we have uh, one, one more. So uh, that's a good uh, start to uh, let the women coming in <laughs> to the decision making.